I'm Deborah Thomas. I'm the R. Jean Brownlee Professor of Anthropology here at the University of Pennsylvania. I grew up all over. Uh, I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is about an hour away from where my mother grew up in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. But we only lived there for about six weeks and uh, moved to New York and Connecticut, then moved to Jamaica, which is where my father is from. Uh, spent some years there, started school there, uh, moved to Minneapolis, moved to Kentucky, moved back to Minneapolis. I went to school in Rhode Island, and then I moved to New York, which was, until last year, the longest I had ever lived anywhere moved from there to Connecticut. I had a postdoc at Wesleyan University, had my first job at Duke University, which is in Durham, North Carolina. So I lived there for four years. And then we moved to Penn and have been here 12 years. After we came back uh, to the US from Jamaica, I started gymnastics. And I completely fell in love with it and became somewhat obsessive about it and became competitive uh, at a young age. So wherever we moved, we always looked for my gym, you know, and where I was going to be on a team. And so that was always a community for me. Um, that was also a way my parents tried to create some consistency was always finding somewhere with a good youth organization. I went into Brown thinking I was pre-med. I was going to become a sports doctor because I really liked my sports doctor as a gymnast. And then I took organic chemistry. And that dream died pretty quickly. By that time, I had stopped competing on the gymnastics team for Brown and started dancing and became obsessive about dancing. So I was doing a lot of dance, a lot of theater, a lot of performance. I was also involved in the Rights and Reasons Theater that at the time was being run by Professor George Bass. And that also gave me new ways to think about working in community. It was a, it was a theater company and still is that uses a research to performance methodology and works with actors and actresses based in Providence and beyond. By the time I moved to New York, I was for a time working at Crossroads Theater Company, which is an African-American theater in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I moved to Brazil for a year. I was dancing there. And by the time I came back, I had been contacted by the New York-based dance company Urban Bushwomen. It was a company of black women trying to address the most pressing social issues of our time. So it was Bushwomen, I think, that really made me think differently about the role of the arts in community and in society and what kinds of things can happen through the arts in relation to social change. There's a long line of black anthropologists who were performers or artists before getting into anthropology and then maintained their artistic practice as anthropologists. So I think you know, all research comes out of that question that keeps you up at night. And, you know, for many of us, that's unresolved or less than adequately understood aspects of our own formation. And when I turned 50, I said that that the mission was moving forward was going to be to embrace all my in-betweennesses. So to embrace being mixed racially, to embrace being mixed culturally, having dual citizenship, to embrace being mixed professionally, you know, being an artist, being an academic, and also therefore finding ways to create that space of comfort for other people where they can embrace their in-betweennesses too.